Hi there, this is Random Corset and you may not recognize me because I have a new do. I thought I would be more random because that is my name, Random Corset, and in the new year I want to do something different and I'm trying to think of some ideas but I just recently started buying some wigs and different types of makeup and clothing and things just to change my style a little bit. Um, let me know what you think. So I have on my purple and black curly long wig and thought I would do a different kind of video today just to be random. So I'm going to do a video about um, US regional accents because I've seen um, some on YouTube and they're really interesting to see what how people pronounce their words and or how they answer certain questions. Um, and I've never told you guys where I live. I'm not going to get specific, but I think at the end of the video, I'd like to see which, if you can guess where I live in the U.S., like either the region or what state I live in. So I'm going to do some words first. I'm just going to say the words and pronounce them how I do where I live. And then I'm going to do some questions and answer them. And by the end, um, hopefully you'll figure out where I come from. So, the words I have to pronounce, I have them all written down here. We have coupon, route, but sometimes I say root, I actually do both. Ant, roof, wash, oil, theater, iron, salmon, caramel, fire, water, sure, data or data say both. Ruin, Cran, New Orleans, Pecan, both, again, probably, Alabama, lawyer, mayonnaise, syrup, pajamas, caught, naturally, aluminum, envelope, bag, bagel, rainbow, sorry, cement, ben, Creek, Colorado, Florida, Friday, Garage, Strength, Especially, Expresso, Penn, Illinois, and Out. So, you now that was a huge list here. And I know even in my area, people still pronounce the words differently, even if they grew up in the same area. Like, um, sometimes... They'll say, um, what was one of them? Oh, my mom will say the days of the week, like Friday instead of Friday. And that might just be because she grew up in a like, different area of the state than I have. Stuff like that. But anyway, um, I'm going to do the questions next. And we'll, I'll just go through them. And if you guys want, you can respond with your questions too. Like, how would you answer them as well? And... Um, I'll also mention like different answers that people have said. Um, what do you call the red and green lights that guide traffic? I usually call them stoplights or traffic lights. Um, do you go by someone's house or do you go to someone's house? I always say I go to someone's house. I don't go by someone's house. That would be like a drive-by. <laughs> what is it called when you throw toilet paper on a house? Teepeeing. I don't know if there is a different way to say that, but you toilet paper the house. What is the bug that when you touch it, it curls into a ball? We call those around here pill bugs and sometimes potato bugs. And I didn't know they could be called different things, but when I looked it up online, apparently there are uh, five or six different ways you can call them. What is the bubbly carbonated drink called? I say soda, um, but other people will say Coke. Pop, soda pop, soft drink, and cola. Uh, what do you call gym shoes? Well, I either say gym shoes or sneakers or tennis shoes. I really don't have a preference. My mom always said tennis shoes. And they really were tennis shoes, like tennis shoes you would see that people used to wear, I don't know, in the 50s or 60s when they played tennis. <laughs> what do you say to address people, to address a group of people? I say like you or you guys, um, a lot of people will say y'all, even around here some people say y'all, but that's, uh, that's not, that's more of a urban thing around here than a 
overall regional thing. Uh, what do you call the wheeled contraption in which you carry groceries at the supermarket? Um, I say a grocery cart or a shopping cart or just a cart, but apparently people will say basket. Like a basket on wheels, I guess, but I call it a cart. What is the thing you change the TV channel with? I say the remote or the remote control or the controller. Um, a lot of people will say clicker and it just sounds weird to me. What do you use... Or what do you, what do a, I can't say this one. What do you call a public water dispenser? I say drinking fountain or water fountain. And I know a lot of people are like, no, it can't be called water fountain because it's um, not like a displaying water fountain. It's something you drink from. But uh, actually around here, a lot of people say bubbler. And it is more of a pretty local thing. Um... I don't know why I didn't pick up on that because almost everybody says bubbler around here, but I found out that bubbler is actually a brand of drinking fountain that was in this area, or at least in this state. And, um, like, I used to go to a zoo in Madison and the, the drinking fountain was like a communal one. It was like a big marble one and the water literally bubbled up constantly from it in like 10 different holes. So that literally bubbled up, and that was a bubbler. Um, but they've since replaced that because it's not sanitary to have everyone drinking from the same bubbling water fountain. So they, yeah, now you can't get those anymore. I don't think anyone can get those anymore, but that was just a cute little fact. Um, do you say coleslaw or slaw? I say coleslaw, but I don't like it. Ew. What do you call a tiny crustacean or lobster found in streams? I would say a crayfish. Um, definitely a lot of people say crawfish or crawdad, but around here is crayfish. What do you call a traffic situation where roads meet in a circle to get off at a certain point? Uh, a roundabout? I don't know what else you would call it. They're actually pretty new. Um, they're starting to pop up more. I, we never had any before. We just had stoplights or traffic lights. Um, but I guess roundabouts are more efficient, although everyone complains about them around here. We just aren't used to them yet, I guess. Um, name for a big road to travel fast on without stoplights? I call that a freeway. I always get annoyed when people say highway because highways, as I learned in driver's ed, have stoplights. And freeways don't. But it can also be called interstate, speedway, route, expressway, and a turnpike. What do you call a long sandwich? Uh, around here we mostly say sub, sometimes a foot long, but it's only if it is a foot long. And apparently they're also called hoagies, heroes, and grinders. Um, do you pronounce the words Mary, Mary and Mary all the same? Well, I do, obviously, but there's the Mary as in marriage, the Mary as in Merry Christmas, and the name Mary. Apparently people pronounce them differently. It's so weird to me. Um, and do you say where are you or where are you at? I say where are you. If you say where are you at, I might say you're more urban in this area. <laughs> Like you didn't go to school or something. <laughs> Where are you at? Uh, what do you call the area of grass between the sidewalk and the road? I call it a terrace. I don't know what else you would call it. The city owns it, but you have to mow the lawn anyways. <laughs> what do you call the area of grass that occurs in the middle of some streets? I call it a boulevard. I guess some people call it an island. I can see that. I, I think I've said that before, but we call it a boulevard usually. What do you call the long, narrow place in the middle of a divided highway? A median. I don't know what else you would call it. Concrete barrier? <laughs> the kill zone? <laughs> like, what else would you say? <laughs> what do you call the drink made with milk and ice cream? A milkshake or a shake? I don't know what else you would call that. I used to work at Baskin Robbins for like five years. I don't think anyone ever came in and said anything else. I guess some people said a malted, but they didn't know what malt meant. Like, how do you not know what a malted is anymore? It's a shake with malt powder in it. Jeez, like a malted milk ball. Mm. Anyway, what do you call the insect that flies around in the summer and has a rear section that glows in the dark? I call it a lightning bug usually. I, we also call them fireflies, but we almost always say lightning bug. What do you call the big clumps of dust that gather under furniture and in corners? Dust or dust bunnies? Do you guys have names for those besides that? 
when you are cold and little points of skin begin to come on your arms and legs and blah blah blah. I call them goosebumps. I've heard of goose pimples, but we call them goosebumps here. Um, do you say trash, garbage, waste, or rubbish? I say trash or garbage. I think rubbish is like a British thing. At least that's what I hear on TV. Um, what do you call the level of a building that is partly or entirely underground? The basement. Some people say cellar, but I think that's more like if you didn't have an actual basement that's where you have stairs and you're on the inside of your house. It's not like you have to go to the outside of your house and you go into the cellar. I think that's an older house thing. Um, how do you pronounce, or how do you refer to the states? Like America, the US, USA, America, <laughs> North America or the states? I just say the US or America. Um, I don't say North America because you sound really stupid if you say that because there's a lot more North America than there is the US. So please don't say that people in the US. <laughs> All right, tissue or Kleenex? My mom always says Kleenex, but she doesn't even use Kleenex brand, she uses Puffs. I say tissue or Kleenex because I actually use Kleenex brand, so it's okay if I say it. Um, lastly, one that always has been a pet peeve, especially in the corset community, do you say corset or corset? I say corset and I think dictionary.com says corset because corset would be spelled with like two T's and an E at the end. Um, so just say it that way. It won't make me mad. <laughs> anyway, um, so I know this was kind of long, but it, it was something that was on my mind. I thought it would be more fun to do. And you can start the guessing now. Where am I from? You already know I'm in the U.S. And I'm sure there's a lot of hints in there that say where I'm from. So, um... And tell me what you think of my wig or my hair. Like, I actually bought three wigs, and I haven't worn them anywhere yet. I just think it's something that would be intimidating to do, but it, it's, I want it to be fun. I want to be more fun next year. This is the last day of the year. A few more hours to go. It's only like 4.30 right now, so... Anyway, Happy New Year, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, and that's it.